I have been talking to the princess, but she remains adamant. She is saying that uh, I should ask you to come with your kinsmen to take the bride price you paid on her head. But Igwe, have you asked her what she did to my son? I have actually. But she's saying that uh, she wasn't pregnant. She's my baby. Except she had done something to him or prepared to give my son to Philip. Greg, I am not saying that you're lying. I have asked her several, repeatedly. But she is insisting that she wasn't pregnant. So, it would be a sure hard pill for me to swallow. Well, I understand. Under this circumstance, there's virtually nothing I can do. You know, you can lead a camel to the stream, but you cannot force it to drink water. That is the situation I find myself right now. No problem, Igwe. I will come with my kinsmen for my money to be refunded. It's all right. Uh, that is a wise decision. Hmm? Thank you, Igwe. Over those he was blabbing about. Mother, I told you. I told you that he knew about the pregnancy, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, keep quiet. And honestly, since I terminated the pregnancy, I've not been myself. My conscience has been pricking me. I wish I never did it. Well, the deed is done. So, stop crying over spilt milk. I am scared to my bones. About what? About Greg, mother. What about Greg? I mean, I am scared that he might harm me or Philip. Oh, come on. He won't do a thing. See, he has accepted to come and take the bright price he paid on your head. That should get you excited and not be worried. Don't you think so? In fact, we need to celebrate this. Yes. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, let's go inside. From now on, it has to be celebration. That's my princess. Come on. Yes, mama cute. See, from now on, it should be celebration after celebration after celebration. They have called my uncle to come and take his money. Really? Yes. You need to see him. It's written all over him. Wait a minute. Did he collect the bride price? He did not. He refused. After running, he will still go back and take it. This is too bad. So that man has succeeded in pushing away your uncle from the princess. <laughs> um, why? Don't say Umuwai because it's not everybody. I can never leave my husband because of money. I can't do that. Let me tell you something. Any man that takes another man's wife simply because he has money more than him should wait because a richer person is coming. Exactly my point, my dear. You know, sometimes I ask myself, if men do not think before acting, or is it that their brain malfunction 
to reason well at times or what? Because why would a man marry a woman who left her husband because of money? Don't worry. A richer person is coming. Yes, it will happen. Trust it me. It doesn't make sense at all. Papa. Papa, welcome. Yes. Good day, sir. Yeah. Your brother was here. Did he leave any message? Yes. Go and get me a seat. Sit on this one, take everything again. Okay. <clears throat> They have called him in the palace. Really? Yes, they asked him to come and take the bright prize. Hey, so this man has succeeded. I hate men with passion. Papa, you are not included though. I mean, all these new age boys. Boys like that madman called Philip. Anyway, the princess is not Greg's wife. Because if she is his wife, they will not separate. But as, as it is now, it is better they go separate ways before it is too late. Papa, what if they are meant to be? Well, if they are meant to be, they will definitely come back to each other, as I said before. I, I believe him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you heard the latest gist of that? I heard. Mananka had to watch a cha cha. How can the princess leave her husband to go and marry Dr. Philip, the brain box? Hey, my dear. They are doing this because they think they can. Imagine the way they are frustrating that poor innocent teacher. It's not nice now. Eh? Hi! The royal family didn't try at all. At all. I mean, they should set a pace for us in this kingdom. Because everybody in this kingdom is looking up to them. I you are right. I heard she's even trying to give um, Greg's child to Dr. Philip. That is not nice now. Eh? That is your own version. Hmm? Ay, chica. Had she aborted the baby is a lie. <laughs> you are joking, right? <laughs> Have you forgotten Udoka works in the palace and she's my friend? So I heard from a reliable sus. What a joke. <laughs> what have they done? The royal family has brought a curse upon themselves. This is not nice at all. Anka. Hi. Nicola from there. Oh, leave them. Let's go and fetch one. Oh, left our own husband because of Dr. Philip. Our own. This shouldn't be coming from the royal family. Mbana. Oh no, Igwe. The toad's mouth has been filled with water that the poor toad cannot cook anymore. My eyes have seen my ears. Your Majesty, I think there is a way to stop this madness. I suggest we invite Dr. Philip here, or even better, visit his place and warn him to remove the monkey hand in the pot of soup before you turn to human hand. Is the princess the only woman in this kingdom? Is she? I wonder. Eh? Wonder. There are thousand and one good maidens in our kingdom. 
He can make his choice from anyone and leave a married woman alone. Of course. I can even not qualify. Uh, I think no one uh, have said it all. We, the elders in council, cannot sit and watch this evil occur in our kingdom. Mbano. My elders in council. I thank you all. I thank you for your intervention in this matter. I will implore you to do what you have decided. Okay? That because an elder cannot sit at home and watch the goat deliver a tethers. So please do the needful, okay? Thank you. We shall brief you on the outcome from her place. It's all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Uh, uh, <laughs> where are you coming from? To your house and your father said he didn't know where you went to then i thought you could be in your uncle's house but when i went there the door was locked <sighs> so start talking where are you coming from i don't understand it's not what you think well i went to see philip's mother philip's mother yes what did you go there to do I went to tell her about what her son is doing to my uncle. Yes, I even advised her to tell her only son to use his money judiciously instead of oppressing my uncle in this village. Okay, so what did she say? She denied everything. She said she's not aware of it. And you believe what she told you? Well, through her reactions, I think she's saying the truth. Because she picked the phone and called him immediately. And what makes you think that Philip will surrender? He has to. Yes, he has to do that. Because I, UK, will never sit and watch him oppress my uncle. It will never happen. Listen, you see this matter, I'm going to go extra miles for it. This is called man's inhumanity to man. And it will never happen, never. UK, I understand your pains, but you still need to take things easy. I don't know why he's acting like that. Eh? His mates that made money overseas are using their money to impart lives in this village. I don't know why his own is otherwise. Eh? He's using his money to oppress the poor. Why? why is it like that? I'm so mad right now. You see that man? I just want to kill him. Okay, you came back to marry the princess and the princess is married. As a responsible man, what does he supposed to do? Leave her and marry another woman. Okay. That's the right thing to do. You see? But he doesn't want that. He just wants to oppress my only uncle. He just wants to make him look stupid. But it will never happen. You know what? Let's just go to my house. Let's just go. And do what? Please, okay. let's go. Go where? To my house now. Oh, yeah. Why am I going to your house again? Please, let's go. We have a whole lot of people. Dr. Philip, it is unfortunate that you of all people made women do this. What do you stand to gain by destroying another man's home? Everything was good and fine with Greg until you came into the picture. Now the center can no longer work. Are you okay with that now? Uh. Doctor, did you come back to destroy once a peaceful home? Is that your agenda? Did Greg offend you in any way before you travel abroad? What is the meaning of this? You see, my elders, the princess was mine before the man got to her. I say, it's a lie. You wanted her. But when you came back and found that she was married, you would have accepted it as your fate and looked for love elsewhere. But no, 
You insisted that it must be the princess. A married woman, Brother Nobe. Mm -hmm. What is this crazy thing about the princess, Enobe? Tell me, Philip. Is she the only beautiful woman in this kingdom? Why are you doing this to your fellow man? The person in question is a classroom teacher. And so what? And so what, Dr. Philip? Remember that the law of karma says that whatever a man so same shall he reap. That karma is real. Remember that. Philip, you are who you are today. As a result of a major role a teacher played in your part of destiny. Now you despise a teacher. Philip, I want you to know that money is not everything. Exactly. Yes, you have money. But also remember that you don't know what tomorrow becomes. Tomorrow, they say, is pregnant. I think we have to meet your king's men on this. Maybe you give them a listening here. Philip, to be forewarned is to be forehand. Be very careful. Because you are richer than him and more exposed than him does not mean you should underrate him. We won't accept that here. Uh, oh no. They say a word is enough for the wise. I think you have said enough. Uh, uh, my eldest, I have some cola just here. <laughs> We don't need your cola. Neither do we need your money. You can keep it. But he who brings cola brings life. We have life already. Philip, other people who schooled abroad are evolving and inventing new things. But here you are, planning on how to do the unthinkable. What is this news I'm hearing? That you're planning on how to destroy another man's marriage simply because you feel he's not good enough for the princess? Mama, you need to calm down. I will not calm down. I will not calm down. Until you tell me why you are hell bent on destroying our whole generation with this your ignominious act. Onye Mutechuku, tell me. Mama, I love the princess. And that's final. Isi Buongwenki, you lie. You will never marry Princess Candy. You will not. Eh? What is all this, Philip? All you do since you came back from overseas is going about intimidating Greg. Eh? With your wealth. Is that why you went abroad? Mama, I am not intimidating anyone. That's a wrong information you have there. The queen and the prince are the masterminders of this chaos. Hmm. They are the one asking the teacher guy to dissolve the marriage. It's not me. I have no hand in it. I can swear with anything. Why are you hell bent on doing that bidding? Mama, you need to understand me. When I came back from the US, I told the royal family I am interested in the princess. I honestly told them I wanted to get married to the princess. But in return, they told me she's married. So I peacefully left. I'm very surprised to hear they're asking Greg to dissolve the marriage and they're fighting him. I don't have a hand in it. They're the ones asking Greg to dissolve the marriage and forcing the princess to marry me. Honestly speaking, I have no hand in it. So mama, don't accuse me wrongly. Is she the only beautiful woman in this kingdom? Mama, Candy is a very beautiful woman, and I believe she's good for marriage. I know you're upset with me, but that's the truth. Besides, I hear the classroom teacher was asked to come pick up the bright price he paid on her head. 
Chimo. And he's doing that today. So this rumor is true. Ah, what have you done? Eh? What have you done? I have done nothing wrong. Oh! this woman, you are in the royal palace. Well, it's like you don't recognize me. Well, let me do the introduction. I am Dr. Philip Onyemuche Mwangwa's mother. Oh, you? Honestly, you've really changed. Come on, I, I, I do recognize you. Oh, money does a lot of magic. Please sit down. I'm not here to sit. Yes. I heard you have been the one pushing my son to his death. I don't And understand. I have come to ask you, please, leave my son alone. He will never marry the princess. Not while I'm still alive. Um, um, Mama Phil, why don't you come down? Sit down, let's talk. How could okay? you? Okay? How could you, Queen Agudo, a mother, destroy your daughter's marriage because of money? Egon Kowa. Come on. Listen, I want to make this promise to you. If my son, Onyema, marries the princess, then know we that I'm not a true daughter of Nzewi. What do I say? Leave my son alone. He's all I have got. Princess, you really should be moving back into your husband's house already. Father, please. I'm not going anywhere. I'm a divorcee. Really? Candy, why are you doing this? I mean, can't you see that there are so many forces against you? Are you so blind that you cannot see? Yes. 
you going? Yes. I am sorry, but we're sticking to plan. Papa, Mama, Philip, me, Honako. Don't forget. My teacher is coming tomorrow with his kinsmen to collect his bread price. Akudu. Yes, my king. What plans are you talking about? Who is making that plan with you? I mean, why are you doing this? Why are you bent on bringing curse upon the royal family? Why? There's no curse anywhere. The princess is not the first to have said that left the marriage. Why is us raising dust? Yes. This one is raising dust because what you are doing is an abomination. Ah. Yes. Look, do not say I didn't warn you. The stubborn fly that refused to listen to her advice accompanies the corpse into the grave. I am warning you. Refrain from this your evil deed. I am not coming down. I've told you my beat and I'm retiring to the chambers. Igor, if what was done to my son is pleasing to the gods, let it be. But if my son is maltreated because some people believe he is poor and nobody can speak for him, let the gods of Umuchi Kingdom speak for him. Igwe, we were here rejoicing, celebrating five months ago. We witnessed a marriage that was built strongly on love. And now we are asked to come and collect back our dowry. <clears throat> we all witnessed it. It happened before our very eyes. We saw the princess and her husband looking into each other's eyes that they were finally coming together as husband and wife. Igwe, we shall collect back our dowry. But I want you to have it at the back of your mind that we never expected that. Greg, do you have anything to chip in before we accept our dowry? No, Papa. I don't have anything to say. No. Well, big way. And we have our dowry back. Yes. Thank you. Come on, be a man. Be a man. Let's go. Let's go. Stop. 
buy this bag and I began to rage. I started ready <laughs> from Naira to dollars to euros. What have you? When? I got it so much. I got it so much. Hey, my dear. This is me kissing poverty. Bye bye. I mean, I will never in my entire life be poor again. In Jesus' name! Amen! 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 <laughs> See, I'm going to invest this money. As a matter of fact, I will use this money to open a very big business for myself. That way, I will not go back to poverty again. Hey! <laughs> this is the way I heard when Ubikubana buried his mother in Oba. I hate boys who are picking money. I hate so This too. one I saw with myself. I pack money. I pack money. I pack money. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh? Seriously. Girls have mine though. I mean, how can the princess of all people do a thing like that? It's not nice now. I keep telling people it wasn't the princess's fault. Whose fault? Eh, she was used by the queen and Prince Vena. That's a, 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 a rude and arrogant prince. I don't like him at all. See, nobody likes him. Nobody likes him at all. He talks and drags too much. I, I, Obi, why? Yes, she is. Hi, girls. What is the problem? Yuki, why the long face? Jesse, have I done anything? Chinwe, do you know one thing I hate most in this life? Pretense. Me? Pretending? How? Stop asking stupid questions as if you don't know what you did. I don't know what's going on here. I'm lost. What did I do? Jessica, please don't jesse me. Am I the one talking to you? UK, I'm lost here. What's my offense? Where are you coming from? Where am I coming from? Like, from the palace, of course. And what is wrong with that? So, Chinwe, you went for that traditional marriage, Chinwe. Wait a minute. Is it because I went to princess traditional marriage? Is that why you guys are giving me this long face? What is wrong with that? Chinwe, I thought you were my friend. But it's obvious you are not. A woman that jilted my uncle got married to another man today. Chinwe, you went there to eat rice you have not eaten before. Can hey. You imagine? So, because the princess jilted your uncle, I should not go to the palace again. Or I should not go to any event that is taking place in the palace. How is that supposed to concern me? You think so? Chinwe, to be frank with you, what you did is bad. For crying out loud, your girlfriend is here in pain just because of what those people that call themselves royal family did to his uncle and all you could do is to go to that traditional marriage to eat rice and drink like you have never eaten it before. Jesse, just hold it. I will not take that from you again. Oh, What's the main of this? Oh, because Greg was jilted. I should be part of his problem. I shouldn't go to the palace. Please, everybody has his differences. You don't expect me to inherit your enemy. No, I will not do that. Can you imagine? I won't. I am not related to Greg. Even if I am, it's my decision. Chinwe. What? I want to be left alone. So you are indirectly asking me to leave your house? I don't care how you see it. Just leave. Leave. Since you're pretending that there is nothing wrong with what you did. Like I care. You guys should just get out. Did you hear that? Thank God it happened right here in, in your face. Can you imagine? I'm happy I'm seeing all this. That girl is so, so annoying. Oh, 
What am I even trying to do? Going to kill myself? No. No. Not after losing my son. No. No.
Hey, come here. Come here. What was the meaning of what you said in UK's house? Is that why you have to push me? Yes. I said, tell me the meaning of what you said in UK's house. You were there, you were running your mouth. What was wrong? I went to Princess Candy's uh, traditional marriage, eh? Uh -huh. What wrong did I do? Anyway, Chiwi, you want to know the meaning of what I said, right? Yes. The meaning of what I said is that you are a chameleon. You're very trickish. You're not a good friend. Period. Hey, stand there. I'm not done with you. Stand here. I'm not done talking. If I'm talking to you, you don't walk out on me. <laughs> Chiwi, if you touch me again with this, your filthy hands, I will descend on you. Me, you I know what that me. means. You descend on me. Yeah, what All right. Chiwe! Chiwe! I want to try not. I want to try not. Chiwe! 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 I'll kill you today. Come here. Come here. She went by. Yes, I can hear you. What? Wait, 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 wait. Did you beat her very well? Why didn't you call me on time so that I will help you? Why? Okay, where are you? Where are you? Okay, where is she? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh no. I'm afraid she's not getting any better. As a matter of fact, her condition is getting worse by the day. Mm. Mm. Uh, I suggest we'll invite Mborobu the healer. No. You and I know that we've invited so many healers in the past and they all proved ineffective. I believe her ailment has uh, defied every traditional and medical treatment. And as it is right now, I have no option but to resort to sitting and waiting for the worst. And that is death. Tfiapa, Igwe, why are you saying this? No, you were here in the past. When I was appealing to the queen to refrain from her evil deeds, that she remained adamant. The words that she so much suffered cannot help her under this condition. So, what else do you want me to say? Igwe, I still insist to be trying more. Yes, I heard he has the power to heal and to see the present, past, and future. Let us try him first. Oh no, we are all conversant with what the queen's problem is. I mean, if, God forbid, she dies today, mm -hmm. we all know what is responsible for her death. I know. I know that 
Virtually, we have tried all the native doctors in this kingdom. Uh, but let's still give Mboroko the chance. Let us try him anyway. I heard he's good at what he does. Let us give him a chance. It is said a trial will convince you. Let us give him a chance, Biko. Well, uh, let me give you the benefit of doubt. Mm -hmm. Let it not be said that uh, it's because I didn't give my consent. That is why she dies. Go and fetch your brother. Go. Igwe. Papa. Hmm? There is something that is bothering me. And I want to share that with you. What is it this time? Papa. It's about three years now that your brother collected the bride price. And yet no wife. Well. What you said now. It's in order. That means you have your uncle's interest at heart. But you don't know your uncle. I know him very well. Listen, Greg is someone who likes to do what he wants. If not by now, he would have gotten another woman. Papa. Yes? Have you talked to him about this before? Yes, I have told it. Immediately, the bride price was returned to him. I told him, he said, I should give him time to recover from the first marriage before another one. Papa, you have to talk to him again. It's over three years now. Know how to put words. Talk to him. Why don't you talk to him? Is he not your uncle? Papa, I will do that again. Eh? Hey. Mm -hmm. That means you have talked to him before now. Yes, Papa. I talked to him, but he told me the same thing he told you. But we don't have to quit. Yes, we have to continue talking to him. He will change. He will get a wife. I believe that. Ah, oh, Greg. Too much education is bad, though. At the end of the day, the whole thing will enter his brain. And that is what is disturbing him. Papa, what is too much education again? Eh, Papa? My uncle is very, very fine. There's nothing wrong with him. Is it because sometimes he gets depressed? He's normal. Uh -huh. Depression. Depression sends someone to an early grave. You let him know that. Papa, I'll tell him. I want to go and see him. Uh, mm. Tell him I want to see him this evening. I will do that. Hey, hey Papa. Yes? If you want to eat, I made guy for you. He's inside, so I can carry uh, Why don't you take some to him? No, I called him, and he said he has food. Okay. Don't miss me. I'm coming. Okay. okay. Chino, do you know Sunday? Yes, I do. The one that came back from Kotonu the other day. Exactly. You know him too well. <laughs> What's about him? He's asking me out. <laughs> And you didn't slap him. Is it because he came back from Kotonu? I don't know for him all. All I know is that he said that he likes me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you like him? Well, I like him, but I'm going to play hard to get. Why? If you like him, just go ahead and say yes to his proposal. Wait, wait. Do you expect me to just say yes to him just like that? That is the problem with women. If it were me, I would say yes to his proposal. As long as I like him, not playing how to get. So just stop. This one you're doing, Shakara. Just better say yes before they will collect him from you. Well, I'm a woman and I have pride. So I'll say yes to him, but not now. And I can read it all over your body that you've already fallen in love with him. He's cute, right? <laughs> I'll say yes, but not now. I have to show you how to do it. I have to show you how to do it. I have to show you how to do it. I have to show you how to do it. I have to show you how to do it. I have to show you how to do it.
Just told me now. <laughs> what did the gods tell you that is responsible for your ailment? She is paying the price for her sins. Oh? But I don't understand. Could you please expatiate? What exactly is her saying that there she's paying for? It's nothing for me to expatiate for you. She brought this upon herself. And the gods have deceived her. The blood of the innocent child is taking revenge. Okay, so what can we do now to remedy the situation? There is nothing for me to do to save her. Igwe, permit me to take my leave. <laughs> The queen ailment is a strange one that has defiled every treatment. Oh no. Igwe. Her ordeal right now was created by herself with her own hands. The prince is also passing through his own, languishing in prison. <laughs> the chief of them all is Princess Candy. She's in America, jumping from post to post, looking for a child after five good years of marriage. Hmm. They created all this by themselves. How can it say to be the one that killed her? I mean, I want to tell you. That is to say, the gods are double-edged sword. They do good at times, and at the same time do evil. To evil doers. The gods do not punish innocent people. Mm. Well, um, I was told they will be returning to Nigeria very soon from America to seek help from uh, traditionalists. Mm -hmm. Yes, because they've actually consulted all the gynecologists in the United States. All to no avail. Hmm. A baby that God gave her an Uma teacher freely is what she and Philip running around from pillar to post looking for. That is to say, the world is not balanced. As the saying goes, the evil that men do lives with them. Mm. Not after them anymore.
Your Majesty. Her situation is really, really bad. We can't let her die. We need to act fast. Philip. As it is right now, my hands are tied. There is nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing anymore. Your Majesty, I can make the necessary arrangement to ensure that she travels. Let us try better healthcare centers. Let us try capable hands. Philip, like I said, there is no need for that. As it is right now, the gods are in control. What? Oh yes, the gods. What gods? First, she coerced my daughter to abandon her marriage. As if that was not enough, 